tonight, when the president addressed the nation, he didn't say one good thing about American medicine. I'm very proud of it. I'm in hospitals almost every day, wonderful places like this where I see doctors and nurses literally rescue patients from the brink of death. If you are seriously ill, one of the best places to be is in the United States. A woman diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States has over a 90% chance of surviving. In Europe, it's under 80%. The World Health Organization rates the United States number one out of 191 nations for responsiveness to the needs of patients. And if you or someone in your family has what's considered an incurable illness, this is the nation of hope where the new breakthroughs occur. Since 1950, the U.S. has won more Nobel Prizes in medicine and physiology than the whole rest of the world combined. And that single parent country to the north, Canada, not one, not one. Is this standard of medical excellence and innovation sustainable? The president says no. Matt Stoutman says no. Anthony says no. But, in fact, the evidence proves that it is. Americans spend more on health care because they can afford more. 90% of the difference in per capita spending, 90% of the difference in per capita health spending between the United States and Europe is due to higher income per capita in the United States. We spend more because we earn more and we get more for it, including lower, lower, uh, excuse me, higher cancer survival rates, lower death per capita from cancer.